Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. So this video is going to be the quick code overview for those who already know Python. And then the next video is going to be for those who are learning Python, where we go more into the syntax, why I did what I did, and explain everything line by line. With that said, however, you do need to understand sandwich attacks and front running attacks to understand what's going on in this code. So if you do not know that, check out the previous video from the blockchain basics with ethers.js playlist on sandwich attacks and front run attacks where we go through what they look like on the blockchain and how they work and how they affect pending transactions, etc. And all of this code will make a ton of sense if you already know Python. Let's hop right in here and we'll talk about this. So this code is going to find bot activity. So we're looking for stuff that's not human activity on the blockchain, and then we're gonna to try to narrow it down a little more to give us a better likelihood of finding sandwich attacks and front run attacks. The way that we're gonna do this is by connecting to the blockchain with Web3. So we're not gonna use the Etherscan APIs this time like the previous forensic series. We're actually gonna to talk directly to the blockchain. And if you don't know how to do that, check out any of the Web3 or the ethers.js videos in those other series. It talks all about hooking this up with code but at a very high level. All we're doing is dumping our Infura URL in here, and then we're creating a hook into the blockchain. That's our provider that allows us to talk with the blockchain. Then under that, we're gonna set up the rest of our variables. We have two dictionaries. One is gonna keep a pair of to and from values from each transaction. And then we're gonna have a transaction count that keeps a count of ones that keep reappearing. And then we also want to grab our block from the blockchain. We want to grab the latest block, which is what we're parsing through. Once we grab all of those variables and we have set it all up, then we are going to start looking through the transactions. And what we're going to do is say, if we get a block from that on the latest block, we're going to take each transaction here and we're going to loop through them. We're going to grab the transaction hash. We're going to look up that hash, grab the transaction and put it in a TX variable. And now, we actually have a transaction to look through in each iteration of that for loop. And what we're gonna look for here is we're gonna say, if the two variable is already in our dictionary of pairs, then we're gonna do some stuff. But if it's not, which it won't be on the first time through, we're actually going to say, okay, our transaction count with our two variable is gonna be one. So now we just created that dictionary and we added one and we added that two as the actual key. And then we're gonna say, okay, we also need a pair of these. So we're gonna say our two from pairs dictionary, we're gonna grab the two and have that equal to the from address. Now, if these already exist, cause we're you know, a few times through the loop and it sees another two value that it has already seen before, it's gonna hop up here and it's gonna say, okay, well, we already saw that, so you know, the two is in our two from pairs. Now in our two from pairs, does that two equal our from in this dictionary here? And if it does, let's increase the count because we saw that two and from pair already. And we wanna keep track of that on how many times that exists in a block. Because in general, users aren't quick enough in a 15 second block to be running multiple transactions, probably a bot, right? So we know it's probably not a human, it may be, or it may be something else, but it's probably a bot or more likely to be a bot. Now that'll keep increasing. And then we're gonna hop down, we're just gonna print some stuff out and we're gonna check some values. So what we're gonna say here, okay, we have that transaction count up there and we're gonna go through all the items. We're gonna grab the key and value pairs, which would be the to and the from. Now we're going to check and say, if the value equals two in the transaction count, right? That number is exactly two times. There's a two and a from value that happened twice, not three, not four, not five, but actually only twice, which matches our signature of a sandwich attack in the same block. We're gonna say, okay, let's, let's print that out. So we're gonna print out the from value, which is likely the smart contract that is the front running smart contract to the screen so that we can then look at it manually. And the way that this will look now is you'll see, okay, sometimes we're running it and nothing's coming out. 
Other times it's spitting out a few. Some of these are random bot activity. And then some of them are sandwich and front run attacks. If we grab one of these, I believe this is a sandwich attack and we open up Etherscan with it. I'll pop this in here and we'll take a quick look without going into the details of sandwich attacks, but we wanna see what we saw. So we'll see that this matches our algorithm, right? We have block 31, block 31, and we have the same from and the same to, and same that happened two minutes ago, four minutes ago, 10 minutes ago. You're seeing the same pattern over and over again. It's looking for profitable transactions, and when it sees one, and it gets in front of it, does a sandwich attack, and we can verify that by quickly looking at it, obviously. So what I'll do is I will copy the beginning of this to search, and we'll say, okay, let's take a look at that block. Let's take a look at those transactions. And let's search for this in here. So I'm gonna say control V here, and I don't see it on this page. Let's check the next one. And nothing on the second page. Let's check the third page. And I'm seeing it here, and exactly, that looks like a sandwich attack, right? So if I'm to guess, I would say, okay, we saw this profitable transaction. We analyzed it, it looked profitable, so we got in front of it with the higher gas price and bought some, and then after that we sold it and made a profit. So we can double check that really quick by hopping in here. And what we see here is we're swapping 0914 Ether and we're buying 64450. So it should be more than 914 when we sell it. And let's check that out. So when we sold it is 926, which is above 914. So we made a little profit here. And it is still that 64450 that they sold. So that's just a quick run through. Check out that code and play with it. It's not perfect. It's not gonna find sandwich attacks every time because it's really analyzing non-human activity and looking for bots. And it allows you to take say two, 300 transactions that are in a block and narrow it down to the most likely candidates of what's going on. And you can go from there. And now in the next video, like I said, we'll do a line by line. And then we'll also get a little more detail and start analyzing what these attackers are doing, you know, checking the balances, etc. And then back in the blockchain basics series, we'll probably then start looking a little deeper and looking at stuff on Uniswap and other values and such. So hopefully this is useful, you know, share it out with your friends. Hopefully you're liking this series. Hopefully it's useful. I haven't really seen anything like this out there. So enjoy.